the city Be back immediately to confiscate the money <laughs>
We should go over, look cool, and convince them to keep the noise down. Hey, neighbors, it's getting to meet y'all. Keep the noise to a minimum if you can. We got y'all. We won't be no trouble. Remember, don't call, call the cops. cops. Just, Just call, call us. Walked in this party and these girls looking new. Skinny jeans on and you know my head. Don't stop, ay, hey, don't stop, ay, hey, run a man on that beat, ay, run a man on that beat, ay, hey, run a man on that beat, ay, hey, run a man on that beat, now okay. do your dance, do your dance, do your dance, ay, hey, you ugly, you your daddy's son, ay, hey, ay, hey, do your dance, ay, hey, go crazy, ay, hey, get free, ay, hey, let's go.
showcase, Bobby. You already know, Joe. At the right podium. You hear that, Jobs? Pend, 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 pend. I got broads in Atlanta. She's a dog in the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Way and see, they like a pen. Going out like a Montana. Honey killers on the helmets. Legacies, family. What's good, job, turkeys? You're going down, chimps. Hey, let's keep it clean, you guys. Unlike Jake's body hair. And Brown's pants. Great George, that cannoni is a raw apple. You said it, Bobby. All right, everybody, it's time for some rules. There will be seven questions. The team that busts in first gets first attempt at answering it. First team to get four correct answers will be crowned the winner and will be the 2017 Senior Showcase MCs. All right, let's get started. Question number one. Who has the best fashion sense in Holliston High School? Doc, Doc Rossini. Correct. Oh, sweet potato yams. How could we have forgotten jokes? We should start dressing like that. Maybe. Not even a question. There you go. Oh, On to question number two. Who is the most handsome teacher at HHS? out quick. On to question number three. Who is the strongest man in HHS? <gasps> and then I told him, this patty is raw meat. Holy mackerel, what is this? Oh my. God. Oh my god. Uh, excuse me? Mind, I'm trying to read a book. Ah! Mark Mulvaney! Very nice, boys. You got your first point. Question number four. Who are the, who are the two biggest softies in the senior class? Huh. Bobby, you know. No clue who this could be. You, you got anything? Huh. Rick, it's been two hours, you buffoon! Uh, 
Yeah, me neither, Jobs. I got nothing. <clears throat> well, our only guests could be Jake Ovid and Rick Brown. You could not be any more correct. One more point for those two, and Mr. Kelly and Mrs. Canoni will be your 2017 showcase MCs. Question number five. Who has the best dance moves in the senior class? Oh. finished just yet. Question number six. Where's the best place around here to grab some breakfast? <laughs> so the point is that every decision has an opportunity cost, so we always have to know what the price of it. Uh, flip that cake. Flip that cake. Flip that cake. Flip that cake. <laughs> Mr. Healy's room. We're all tied up now, folks. It's time for the big kahuna for all the marbles. Here's question number seven. What is the best graduating class to come through Hollister High School? The class, class of 2017. Correct. Rick and Jobs are the winners, and you are now the new 2017 Showcase MCs. Hallelujah. We did it, Bobby. Guess we ain't the only jive turkeys.
On top of all that, Nick co-directed this entire production along with the help of Abby O'Leary, who's been huge at every rehearsal and supporting us throughout this entire process. Give it up for Abby. Gabby Murgo, who helped choreograph our little dance you just saw, as well as the group dance with the help of Jenna Calabrese. Give it up for them. And lastly, Miss Bottomley, taking out time of her busy schedule to oversee this whole process and really make everything happen. Shout out to you, Miss Bottomley. So to kick things off, we're gonna pass it over to Brian Chi and Michaela Mari singing Hallelujah and Halo. Give it up for them. I heard there was a secret code that David played and it pleased the love, but you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty. She tied you to her kitchen chair And she broke your throne And she cut your hair And from your lips she drew you hear at night it's not someone who's seen the light it's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah Like a ray of sun, a 
running through my darkest night. You're the only one that I want. Think I'm addicted to your life. I swore I'd never fall again. This don't even feel like falling. Gravity can't forget to pull me back to the ground again. It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you break It's the risk I'm taking. I'm never gonna shut you out. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Oh, baby, I can see your halo. You know you my saving grace. You're everything I need and more. It's written all over your face. Oh, baby, I can feel your halo. I pray it won't fade I can feel away. Your halo, halo. halo. I can see your halo, halo. Halo. I can see your halo, halo. Halo. I can see Anybody who is a part of Holliston High School, especially our own administration, is very familiar with this particular group of seniors. They are capable of producing odd but slightly catchy techno music. <laughs> so, a lot of you guys will recognize this group as the Pirates. <laughs> First! We got my co-host Rick and his two fellow pirates, Henry Smith and Nick P, dropping a little cypher. And then after that, the incredibly talented ensemble of Jake Curdo, Henry Smith, Chad Cordani, Andrew Milton, and Owen Savage will be taking the stage. Give it up for the pirates. Sing like a beat, and on the weekends, it's just my boys and me. I'll make your girlfriend say, Golly gee, you say something mean, and you'll be sorry. I play your mama like I play Atari. I'm Nick P, so I have three R's. How about your girlfriend on the show, Mari? Uh, my team is heavy, we going ham. Stand back, ladies, I mean your teddy grams. Piling up like damn Sam Ham is spitting rhymes like Sam I am. I'm like, Whoa, these girls want peace flow. But you already know that's just the way it goes. With my dogs to the very last day, if you against us, please start to pray. And if you don't, 
And if you don't have anything to say, then you got nothing to say. Uh, turn your back on my boys, and I'm like, no way. Yo, man, you know this guy? It's gonna be gritty. I'm gonna give it to my boy, Smitty. This cracker made heads, the name is Smith I don't mean to hate and I don't mean to diss But I got the hottest crew according to your miss And you never heard bars as hard as this Every time I bang on a drum and I work 24-7 I be putting in work 24-7 your baby mama twerk Ball with my homies, whipping in my murk Last week tell Bobby let's round up the peas Three boys in the front seat, four in the rear Told mom coming home late, said oh dear But that's the way baby, all hard, no fear Cooking up the yearbook and I'm cooking up beats Bobby getting hungry, needs something to eat Smith and the boys like a naval fleet Kill all y'all, we gave the beat some call me Koi Boy, I'm fresh as Daisy. Creative genius making art, never call me lazy. Big old brute, they like Patrick Swayze. It's real same gym, they say damn that's crazy. Yo, hold up. Word. You just got served by Bobby and the Pirates. Next time see friendship like this, admire it.
Bobby, you know what I was thinking about? What's that, Jobs? How dank was open circle back in elementary school? Dude, danker than a buff chick cow from Basil's? I don't know, but definitely right up there. So for those who don't remember, open circle was an activity we did back in Placentino. Um, and what it, what it was, it gave students the opportunity to, um, it gave students the opportunity to, um, to reflect upon social issues, their learning environment, et cetera. So right now, we're going to call up a few special guests from the audience and simulate an open circle scenario. Would the following hooligans please step up to the stage? Andres Albernez, Kelsey Crowley, Brandon Baddock, Drew Todke, Cal Papulis, Jack Brooks, Yoel Lignabu, Sarah Strzok, Erica Chipman, Bella Vaza, and Mark Mulvaney. How are we doing, guys? So hey, just sit crisscross applesauce right in front of us over here. Howdy, fellas. So um, to start it off, to start it off, just, just rip a piece of paper. Put, um, this is going to be a problem-solving box. So just put, yeah, just put, put suggestions, any concerns you have, and we're going to go over them at the end. And remember, this is 100% anonymous. Yeah, confidentiality is key here. So we're going to keep everything kept to, uh, kept to yourselves. <laughs> yeah, just sl slide it over. My mic tape fell off. All right, so while we pass it around over there, let's get started. This is going to be the talking stick. Andres. What is your passion? Mackin. Of course. Of course. Kelsey, what about you? Being a taxi driver. Yep. <laughs> no. Brandon Baddock, what about you? Colonoscopies. OK. <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. All right, question two. What do you like to collect? How about you, Drew? Uh, I like to collect short shorts, like real short. Checks out. Checks out. Hey, you cops. Uh, my youth soccer trophies. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, now, Brandon, we're going to pass the mic back to you. Describe your dream vacation. Somalia. OK. Yep. All right. <laughs> not, not the answer we were hoping for. Um, I'm going to turn this one back over to Rick. All right. Question four. How would your best friend describe you? How about you, Jack Brooks? Probably colorblind. Yep. All right, correct. Yo, well, what about you? Mm, probably have a steamy cup of hot cocoa. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So the last question is, what gives you hope? We're going to give this over to uh, Sarah Strzok. Uh, Bobby and Joe's hosting Senior Showcase. Oh. Obviously. Oh, okay. Obviously. Hey, Thanks, Chippy, guys. Chippy, do you got anything to say? All right, yep, all right, yep, we're going to give it back. So uh, now we're, uh, we're going to take out this problem-solving box we had earlier. And uh, let's read this first one. Remember, this is 100% anonymous, so don't worry about anything. 
I wish my brother's butt was smaller than mine. Bella. Rick. Oh, sorry. Confidentiality. Sorry, my, just pass me the box. All right, just read number two. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I would prefer four times the amount of protein in school lunches. Well, we'll get on. We'll get right on that, you gorgeous goose. Hey, hey, come on. Anonymous, Rick. Anonymous. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. fine. Let's see, number three. I think we should start merging the guys' and girls' locker rooms into one. Andres, you raunchy hound. Rick! <laughs> All right, hey, ladies and gents, I'm sorry about this. We're going to have to wrap this one up a little early. So why don't you guys turn your eyes and ears over to Mike Wexler singing When You Coming Home. Accompanied by, accompanied by Stephen Galvin on the electric guitar. Hey, take the mic. Take the mic.
Um, Jad's music certainly isn't one of our favorite things about our class, but you know what it is? What's that, Jobs? The amount of talent displayed by the kids in the art club. Could not agree more. We got some great people doing even, even greater projects. Couldn't count the artists on my two hands. You know, hit the nail in the coffin, Bobby. So to share some of this great artwork with you guys, there's a little montage coming up of a bunch of different pieces strictly made by the class of 2017 members. Put together by none other than herself, the class artist, Elena Daly. Give it up.
you know what, Bobby? The only downside to MC in this whole thing is that we can't display our true talents as singers. You know what, Jobs? That's BS. We yeah? can write a song, produce it. Oh, wait, no. We can write a song, perform it, and I'll produce it. Really? You know what? I think so, too. Hit it! Bobby and Jobs still in the show. Oh, Bobby and Jobs still in the show. Jobs and Bobby ain't gonna be sloppy. Jobs and Bobby ain't gonna be sloppy. Bobby and Jobs call us the go of host. Bobby and Jobs call us the go of host. Jobs and Bobby show's gonna be rocking. Jobs and Bobby show's gonna be rocking. Alex Mamoro. He is the beef coon, show's not done, please don't leave too soon, Mr. Bernstein, he's looking super lean, show's getting scary, seems like Halloween, that you didn't think, that we could sing, look at Jackie B, he's got to rings no one's got the moves like ryan donahue yo was a boss and ismael too boss has got the bum we ain't talking about bella jack and men's a really cute fella shout out james eagle he's sloppy jay shout out brian powell and becca day more like Louis Rossi, word of Pat Bat, he likes to get saucy. James Ogilvie likes taking fat falls. Mina Shahada can't really ball. Where's Kate Naughton? Probably with Mark Mulvaney. He has a huge skirt. Bobby and Jobs. This is our town, Jobs and Bobby, coolest guys around. Bobby and Jobs, this is our town, Jobs and Bobby, coolest guys around. Yeah, Bobby and Jobs, this is our town, Jobs and Bobby, coolest guys around. Woo. Woo. Man. Man, that was a pretty good song, but if anyone can beat that, it's angelic vocal stylings of Sophie Noah accompanied by Amelia Porter on the guitar. Strumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly. With his song, telling my whole life With his words, killing me softly With his song I heard he sang a good song I heard he had a style So when I came to see him, to live for a while And there he was A young boy A stranger to my eyes Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life his words killing me softly with his song. I felt all flushed with fever, embarrassed by the crowd. I felt he found my letters and read each one aloud. I pray that he would finish. Just kept right on Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words
words killing me softly with his song. Bobby, remember freshman year when, you know, you'd come to school every day sagging your pants and wearing that gold chain? Oh, dude, don't remind me. And you had that half-grown, gross chin strap? Oh, yuck, dude. I wish that never happened. Freshman year was kind of the worst, but a huge perk of it had to have been Dan Canto's presidential campaign speech. 100%. Unreal a highlight. I can remember it and he said back in Mother Russia he wanted to perform at Senior Showcase. That's such a coincidence because you know who's up next? Dan Canto performing his very own magic act. <laughs> Give it up for Dan the Magic Man!
And thank you for purchasing this amazing magic trick. You're first in a series of amazing tricks in 10 steps from the Magic Trick of the Month Club. This month's trick is the vanishing bandana. The number one rule in magic is to never tell how a trick is done. So before we begin, we must take the magician's oath. Now raise your right hand. No, your other right hand. And repeat after me. I promise to never ever tell the secret of the magic trick. I also promise to never ever repeat what other people tell me to say. Let's get started. For this mystery, we've packed all you need in the box. Step one, dump the entire contents of the box onto your table. You'll find a square of fabric and a yellow bandana. We'll start with the yellow bandana. Please pay attention. Step two, pick up the yellow bandana and fold it in half. That's right, I said fold it in half. Step three, fold the bandana one more time. Step four, Take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand. Remember to keep your hand in a natural position. This secret move is called hiding it in your left hand. Now that you've learned to hide it in your left hand, we can continue. Step five, unfold the bandana and wave it up and down to prove to your audience that it's a real bandana. If anyone from the audience does not believe it to be a real bandana, offer to drape it over their head. Step six, pick up the square of cloth and gather the four corners to form a makeshift bag. Step seven, use your free hand to fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier. Drop the bandana into the makeshift bag. Step eight, from the outside of the bag, squeeze the bandana into a small little ball. What the audience doesn't know is that you didn't really drop it into the bag. You actually have it hidden in your left hand. Remember hiding it in your left hand that you learned before? Remember to keep your left hand held naturally. Step nine, Make a magical gesture over the bag. Fling open the cloth to show that the bandana has vanished. Step 10, take a bow. You should now receive a well-deserved round of applause. If you don't think the trick went well, you probably missed something. So go back to step one and start over. Good luck and remember that a good magician Now the reason for this is I want to 
to secure Rick's arms so that he cannot move them. Now the trick will be, oh, you'll see. We're going to go with the trash bag next. Now Kelsey is actually going to take the trash can, the trash bag, and place it over Rick's head. Now I know what you're thinking. This is a safety hazard, but don't worry. <laughs> He now has two holes. He now can see. <laughs> All right, I'm going to secure in place. Now, Rick, I'm going to secure you in place. Do you feel the ropes get tighter and tighter and tighter? Absolutely. Ah, uh, here we go. We're just about done. And next up, <laughs> Give me a second. It's my mom. Hello, mom? Да, хорошо, да, секунду. Да, я, так, я понимаю, что это ты единственная сейчас слышишь меня, а ты только меня понимаешь, как тебе Да, окей, okay, хорошо, я понял. All right, folks, we're going to have to wrap it up right now. Thank you, stop, mom, you're going to stay true, 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 stay true. There is a man in this building who, for the past 16 plus years, has impacted more lives than some would deem possible. He devotes his time to helping others, which in my opinion is the most unselfish and noble way to live your life. On an everyday basis, he spreads love, wisdom, and positivity throughout our school. He displays a profound strength and is an ideal role model for how each and every one of us should go about our everyday lives. He did a fantastic job of running this event for years, but had to pass the torch after being diagnosed with ALS about 15 months ago. Despite this awful diagnosis, he has shown everybody, not just in this building, but whoever comes in contact with him, how to properly kick adversity right in the throat. This is a man who I emulate, and I hope to be just like him as I get older. At this time, I ask for all of you to offer up a round of applause for Mr. Wexler. I told you I'd give you a shout out. Now, Mr. Wexer is probably the biggest Beatles fan that I've come to know. So this next act is for you, Wex. Singing Let It Be, Mike Wexer with Ben Dooley on the piano and Chad Cordani on the guitar. All right, thank you all for coming. Uh, if you all want to stand, and sing along. If you don't know the lyrics, search them out. We're going to be singing Let It Be, as you know. Let's sing it for Mr. Wexler. Parents, too. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. And when the broken hearted people living in the world agree, there will be an answer, let it be. For though they may be parted, 
There is still a chance that they will see. There will be an answer. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. There will be an answer. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. And when the night is cloudy, there is still light that shines on me. Shine until tomorrow. Let it be. I wake up to the sound of music. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. 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 Whisper words of wisdom, let it be, 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 whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 123rd White House Correspondence Dinner. Here are your hosts, Morgan Jeff Roy, <laughs> Amelia Porter, <laughs> Madison Colatonio, <laughs> and Jad Al Assad. <laughs> I can't, my, my, my dress is falling. What an honor it is to be here tonight at the 2037 White House Correspondence Dinner. Before we start, if you miss any of tonight's show, just remember you can watch it on full on Shelby Hinchy's Snapchat story. We are so excited to have the HHS class of 2017 here tonight. And may I say, you have all aged incredibly. It doesn't look like a year has passed, much less 20. Oh, and Amelia, I see you still have your braces. Oh, Morgan, I still, I hear you're still quoting Parks and Rec, and you think it's still funny. <laughs> So let's talk about who isn't here tonight. Tyler Aronson isn't supposed to be here, but what do you know? He came back! Again! James Eagle is actually watching the live stream of this dinner on, from his laptop. Nick Wells had a hot date with a wheel of sharp cheddar cheese. Mark Mulvaney couldn't make it tonight because he was still on set filming the new Spy Kids movie. 
he got cast as Thumb Thumb number one. Jesse Young actually got barred from entering tonight after he showed up in sweatpants to the most formal event of the year. Sophie Brown isn't here tonight. She was too busy hitting the books after someone had claimed that Kit was smarter. <laughs> Jack Inman will be coming a bit late. He was just finishing his chem test from junior year. And now for the people that actually showed up. Oh, I think Kelsey's here. Hey, Jack Brooks, uh, what color is this? Not green. No, not, not quite. Um, so Jake Obed is here tonight. Uh, he's accompanied by his wife, his two kids, and Katie Larsh and Daniel Kiley. I can't believe he's still running the Red Sea page at the age of 38. We're so fortunate that our classmate, Pat Bat, could take a break from his busy schedule to be here tonight. He's currently starring as Rufus the Naked Mole Rat in Kim Possible on Ice. <laughs> Dan Pitt as well. His arms got cast in the upcoming Planet of the Apes movie. <laughs> all of Chad's, all of Chad Piepenberg's 18 exes are here and they formed a support group and are rioting outside. Dalton Ring is here tonight. Who? <laughs> It look like, looks like Erica Bridges finally found out to do with her hair. You look good, Erica. Oh. Proud of you. Jab. Congrats to Julia Whiting and her husband, whose Vineyard Vines wedding themed was whose Vineyard Vines themed wedding was dang. Kevin Ricard managed to sneak in tonight despite not wearing a shirt. Wait, no, he's wearing a shirt. It's just his V-neck. He's dipping past his belly button. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Tim Trollin's eyebrows have finally metamorphosized into butterflies, flew away, and then found a home on Rob Cox. <laughs> Gabby Murgo is actually teaching geography at HHS now and successfully teaches her students about the 52 United States of America. <laughs> Megan Burke keeps getting arrested for identity theft because authorities keep confusing her for sophomore Megan Burke. <laughs> Erica Chipman is here. I'm surprised she figured out how to open the door. She actually just got 100 on, on her IQ test. Rishi Ketri was discharged from the hospital in order to be here tonight. He had to be talked off the ledge when Polo stopped making clothes. <laughs> Jenna Calabrese, Harriet Koblenzer, and Nate Haywood showed up tonight wearing dog collars as their competition for Teacher's Pet drags on. Oh my god, was that Ryan Vaz's butt or Kyle Papulis' ego? Uh, either way, they're both overinflated. So true. Ben Capello's here, and he's gained some weight too, at least a half a pound. Ben Sally, you're the worst. Abby O'Leary and Kira Allen recently opened up a bar, but unfortunately, it got shut down. All the sauce strangely went missing. As I may point out, Dan Leary's cheeks got redder. After Hunter Batemri got arrested, Anders Albernes and Dan Leary compete for his position as headmaster of Dana Hall. Isn't that an all-girls school? Rick Brown still eats number nines after so many years. <laughs> the Basavios are here in the audience tonight. They couldn't find a babysitter, so they had to bring little Nikki P with them. Sydney Ch Halchuk here sporting her clothing line called Not Preppy. Emma Milligan's here wearing her own clothing line, which has recently be been featured at Gap Kids. <laughs> Michael Bidek said his first words tonight. Congrats, Mike. Oh. 
On the same note, Marley D'Angelo completed a thought for once. <laughs> Wow, look at Izzy Getchell. Did she get forehead reduction surgery? Yeah, I think she went from a seven to a six. I see Drew's actually wearing pants tonight. It wasn't by choice though. HHS had to impose a dress code after he started wearing bikini bottoms to school. And I see John Bush looking dreamier than ever. Hubba hubba. Abby Turcott invented the first indestructible Wi-Fi router. With the help of Steve Gallivan's power tools and engineering degree, they were able to finish in record time. Yeah. Brian Chi brought Jordan Payne as his plus one. I think they're official. Lee just friends. Oh, and... Last and least, Hope Mazio recently opened up a dog shelter, taking in dogs from all over the independent school league. But wait, there's more. It almost, her business almost fell through, but fortunately enough, Skippy Peanut Butter gave her a generous donation. That's all we have for tonight, folks. So uh, Bobby and I got a little hungry during intermissions, and we, uh, we decided to order a pizza. Yeah, Joe, we ordered that before intermissions. It should be here soon. Yeah, actually, you know, I, I, I think my phone's buzzing right now. Yeah, here he is. Uh, hello? Hello. Hi. Um, who is I, this? I have a pizza. Oh, no, this is Mark. Oh, okay, cool. Hello? I, have a pizza f I have a pizza for Greg Beef Dongla. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's us. So uh, where are you right now, Mark? I'm outside the glass doors. Oh, yeah, you're, uh, you're actually right where we need you to be. So um, our, we have a half million dollar security system that really doesn't work. Oh, he's already in here. Already found his way in. Wow. <laughs> Quick time. Yeah, wow. great timing. All right, I'll... Uh... Hey, take a seat, champ. Stay a while. Okay. <laughs> My mic's not working, so we're going to have to share this. So, uh, so where are you coming from, Mark? Uh, Papaginos. Oh, I think he means it's something a little bit more personal. Yeah, like your, uh, your home address. I'm thinking maybe we could hang out sometime. Uh, I think I need to leave right now. Actually, um, that'd be a bad idea, because you see, well, Rick here is handcuffed, and we're going to need you to feed him this pizza. I really need to leave right now. No, 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 no I really think you need to feed him. Hey, come on. <laughs> New York flop. Actually, um, Mark, Rick and I here, we do everything together, so you're going to need to feed me as well. Feed him. I really need to leave right now. No, no, you really need to feed me. Just a couple bites. Come on, Mark. Come on. Oh, so this is where you live. At, uh, what's it? How did you get that? <laughs> so, uh, Mark, what's your, uh... It's your shoe size there. Looks like you got some pretty big feet. I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. That was some fantastic pizza. From a fantastic pizza man. One bite. Everybody You heard the man. Um, we really should have seen if he could have unlocked you or something, though. Oh, yeah, I guess so. You know... While we try and get that problem solved, um, you guys turn your eyes and ears to Kira Allen and Emma Milligan's uke rendition of Anna Sung. 
screen falling off the door, door hanging off the hinges. My feet are still sore, my back's on the fringes. We tore up the walls, we slept on couches. We lifted this house, we lifted this house. Firecrackers in the east, my car parked south. Your hands on my cheeks, your shoulders in my mouth. I was up against the wall on the west mezzanine. We rattle this town, we rattle this scene. Oh, in the sun. Oh, in the sun. What well, do you know? This house is falling apart. What can I say? This house is falling apart. We got no money, but we got hot heart. We're gonna rattle this ghost town. This house is falling apart. Screen falling off the door, door hanging off the hinges. My feet are still sore, my back's on the fringes. We were up against the wall on the west mezzanine. We rattled this town, we rattled this scene. Oh, in the sun. Oh, in the sun. What do you know? This house is falling apart. What can I say? This house is falling apart. We got no money, but we got hot heart. We're gonna rattle this ghost town. What do you know? This house is falling apart. What can I say? This house is falling apart. We got no money, but we got hot heart. We're gonna rattle this ghost town. This house is falling apart. This house is falling apart. wagon rides fumbling around the back not one seatbelt on wait for summertime coming up for air now it's all a wash now it's all a wash green falling out the door Live door hanging out the hinges my feet are still sore my back's on the fingers we tore up the now walls we slept on wash. couches we lifted this house I we Firecrackers in the east, my car parks out your hands on my cheek, your shoulder in my mouth. I was up against a wall on the west mezzanine. Wait for summertime, oh, in the sun. Oh, in the sun. What do you know? This house is falling apart. What can I say? This house is falling apart. We got no money, but we got hot heart. We're gonna rattle this ghost town. What do you know? This house is falling apart. What can I say? This house is falling apart. We got no money, but we got hot heart. We're gonna rattle this ghost town. This house is falling apart. So, uh, Rick, obviously, you know, you and I are probably the two most handsome kids in the school, but you know who's right up there with us? Who? Troy Bolt. Ah, I mean, Jackie B. Sorry, I get them confused sometimes. Jackie B? Oh, my God. Obviously, we're the best singers in here, probably. As you guys, as you guys saw. Yeah, but if there's one person that could get to that same status, it's Jackie B. Wait. Are you talking 2015 Globe Player of the Year who led his team to the state title, Jackie B? Two rings, baby. Two? Two no, rings. Two. Two, two rings. But I didn't come here to see his two rings. I came here to hear his voice. You know what? I did too. Class of 2017, what did you come here for? <laughs> so, one final time, let's give it up for Jackie B singing All I Want by Codaline. <laughs> Accompanied by Steve G on the guitar.
mic. <laughs> Just shout. <laughs> All right, so thank God Jad's out of here now. <laughs> um, so <laughs> this next act, you've seen her skills as a choreographer for our group dance. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but now you're about to see her real moves as a dancer. All right, performing an original routine, self-choreographed, Jennifer Calabrese. You know, Rick, this is, this is getting old. I can't, I can't deal with you handcuffed anymore. How do you think I feel, Jobs? I, I don't get it. Like, what kind of sicko would take the key from Dan Canto? I don't, I don't get it. I think I have an idea. Where? Coden. Oh, that makes so much sense. Well, I bet he's out there in the audience right now. Let's see. Yeah, why don't we give a try? Why don't we uh, bring him up here? Kogan, 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 
that was a tough performance to follow up by. I think Sydney Davis and Olivia Caldwell got it. Let's give it up to these two fine ladies. And one more time for Cogan. So this, this next act is undoubtedly one of my favorite acts of this entire show. If you thought Jad's instrumental was something, which you shouldn't have, you're going to think this is a smorgasbord of greatness. So next up, performing a flute solo, we got Nell Val. Give it up for Nell. <laughs>
Amazing. Well, my name is Kira Allen, and this little firecracker right next to me is Amelia Porter. And tonight, we'd like to present you with Kira, Kira and, and Amelia's Declassified School Survival Guide. Now, because there are only two of us, we decided to bring actual cookies. In replace of cookie. In replace of cookie. So from our years of experience here at Halls and High School, we've constructed a list of tips and tricks to help you make the most of your high school years. Tip number 47, make sure to sign up for lots of after-school clubs and activities so you don't have to risk your life out in the parking lot right after school. Tonight we'd have, like to have a chat with some of, some of our seniors who are involved in some of our favorite after-school activities. Now, the first club we'd like to bring up is the Yearbook Club. May we please talk to senior editor for the Yearbook, Ryan Donahue. Give it up All for right, Ryan, Ryan, everybody. Where is he? Bring it on up. Look at that man. Hi, Ryan. Ryan, can you tell us what it's like to be senior editor for the yearbook? It's a lot of work. You've got a lot of responsibilities. I actually have a list of responsibilities oh, here. Sure. Ooh, it's a, looks like a long list. A, it is a long list. You know, first, you've got to figure out a theme. You know, then you've got to take pictures of the sports teams, the clubs, the faculty. You know, then you've got to sell ads. You've got to sell the book. You've got to make a cover. You know, that's just naming a few, you know. Wow. So uh, what jobs do other people have? Um, if someone takes attendance at the meetings. No, actually, now that I think about it, I do that too. <laughs> Sounds like you need help. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's not too late to sign up for you. Well, it's so sad you have no way of getting in touch with anyone who might be willing to help. Well, Ryan, thank you for your time. Have a cookie. Thank you. Give it up for Ryan, everybody. Now, if your book really isn't for you, another great group to join is Art Club. Yes, uh, tip number 56, finding a group that fits you best is, shouldn't be a struggle. If nothing else fits, our club is open to everyone, no matter how talented you are or are not. Let's talk to an artist who's been sharing her artwork with our town for a very long time. Elena Daly, will you join us on stage? Yeah, Elena. Bring it on up. Hi, Elena. Now, could you tell us a little bit about your art? Well, I've been doing art since I could hold a pencil. It's probably like the age of two. Mm. Okay. Now, Elena, we actually have one of your earliest works that you've done from the Arbor Tree competition. Oh, wasn't that in like fifth grade? Yes, it was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Elena Daly's award-winning piece that went to the national level in fifth grade. Amazing. <laughs> Give it up for Elena. And uh, here's my submission that won no awards because I was too ashamed to turn it in. Amelia, that is so just very abstract. Okay, you can go, bye. Oh. Sorry. Well. So, Kira, what other clubs should people join? Um, <laughs> who's back there? Excuse me. Is that school sanctioned? Well, uh, other clubs, let me think. Uh, Sorry. Um, uh, oh, theater. Wow, Emma, you look great. Oh, thanks, Kira. It's Tech Week. You know that we dress up. Didn't we already do that? Yeah, but we're having another show on Saturday. Woo! Oh, yeah. Did you guys make it to the semifinals? Yeah, we did. Oh, that's further than football made it this year. Okay. Oh, hey. Okay. okay. Hey. 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 Hey, Sam, how you, uh, how you, how you doing, bud? I'm doing pretty good. Oh, that's, that is great to hear. That is fantastic. You got something to say? Mm. Tip number 537, don't take off guys whose biceps are bigger than your neck. <laughs> Absolutely not. Nothing at all, sir. Just that, some, that the athletes are some of the most inspirational and intelligent students in the school, Kira. <laughs> So, coming from undoubtedly the best class to ever walk the halls of this building, I'd say we've experienced some pretty awesome stuff, Rick. Where to begin, Jobs? You know, I'd like to start off with the bathrooms. Um, we have made those bathrooms smell so nice over our four-year course here. What, like, like that nice fruity scent. Where, where does all that come from? Oh, probably from the fresh fruit that goes, grows around that, here. That's, that's got to be it. I didn't, even, I didn't even think of that. Oh, and not it. to mention... 
those safe, happy campers in our parking lot. True. The P-Lot is the safest in the district. And, you know, we do a great job of managing the overflow of traffic before and after school with our whopping one entrance and one exit for all the cars to go in and out of. It's really, it's something to be proud of. Um, and, you know, another, another amazing accomplishment has been our Globefest team making it all the way to their first semifinal appearance in the past five years. The robotics team also made it to their semifinals. Happy Keep day, happy day. Oh, and despite being quite rattled that my precious grove got taken down, the courtyard got redone in a very groovy way. And all by class of 2017 members. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Oh, and not to mention those very useful TVs that, all, that help all students every day. Rick, yeah. I personally, I don't know what I would do if those TVs weren't there. There's honestly, there's a useful piece of information on them at any time in the day. Any time. Like, I really don't know. And, I, and know what else I heard? I heard they were priced at a really reasonable 2.5K a piece. W wow, what a bargain. Kenobi's been couponing. Of course she has. <laughs> But we can't go without talking about the athletics of our class. So to kick things off, I know they get a lot of credit, but it's well-deserved, our football team. Four straight sectional final appearances, two Super Bowl titles, you never hear that. And then we got the boys' soccer team, my alma mater. Nine, Norwell, nine, <laughs> nine straight years with a tournament berth. That's really something to be proud of. And then you look at our field hockey team. Um, I remember in middle school, at our Thanksgiving pep rally, we were having like the biggest celebration because field hockey scored their first goal in about 10 years. <laughs> and now you look at them, you look at them. TVL champs last year, TVL runners up this year, two deep runs in the tournament. That's really something to be proud of. That's a big turnaround. <laughs> and you also can't go without noting our basketball team, you know? One in 19 sophomore year, and I proudly say I contributed a whopping 1.7 points per game to that incredible season. Um, and you know, you look at them this year, 15 and six, they took one of the best teams in the state right down to the wire in the playoffs, Keo Classic champs, Tri-Valley League runner-ups, really something to be proud of. And then uh, to get into spring sports, we've never really accomplished anything there. Um, all of our spring sports are awful, so. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, speaking of all these sports, just my personal experience with the track and field organization. The girls have been killing it for the last four years. They're always dominant, always TVO contenders. And just some seniors to mention this year, Kelly Owls making it to nationals for shot put. Just insane. Also, also Emma Gooch making it to all states for the 300, the boys 4x4, four four, making it to all states for 4x4. Uh, four four. <laughs> Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty decent year. And also, not to mention those top-of-the-line basketball courts. Yep. Really slip-free and safe for all students. I heard, that, um, I heard that other teams in the league try and get more away games at our home court just because our facilities are just top-notch, and they just love playing here. But all joking aside... I think everybody in this room can agree. The best thing, not only about HHS, but about Holliston, is how much of a tight-knit community we have. It amazes me how everybody in this town is always able to respond to whatever adversity is thrown at us. That was shown when a couple of our classmates got a tribute star for the late Madame Kakavali. Madame. Madame Kakavali was a beautiful and courageous woman who touched the lives of so many people even outside the boundaries of this building. So Brian Chi is going to come out right now and present to you this tribute star. This past week, our community lost a beloved and dedicated teacher, mentor, and friend. Madame Kakavali was an innovator, a dedicated supporter of the arts and language. She dedicated her time to ensure each student felt cared for and given the opportunities to succeed. One of her favorite quotes from the book, Le Petit Prince, reads as follows. 
In one of those stars I shall be living, and one of them I shall be laughing. And so will be as if all the stars were laughing when you look at the sky at night. And when your sorrow is comforted, time soothes all sorrows. You'll be content that you have known me. You will always be my friend. I shall not leave you. The class of 2017 has purchased a star in her honor. The certificate will hang in the halls of the foreign language wing in Halston High School, and her memory and legacy will live on forever. Now, please welcome Michaela Marie and Ben Dooley singing La Vie en Rose in tribute to Madame Cacavalli.
Hey, Bobby, can I ask you a question? What's that, Jobs? Don't you think they leave a lot of the superlatives out of homecoming? You know what? You're right, dude. I think we should dish out credit where credit is due. You know what? I think so, too. Class of 2017, what do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Just as a matter of fact, we have some prepared, so let's get rolling, Jobs. So first off, most likely to be sold in a jewelry store, Grace Diamond. Most likely to own a ranch, John Bush. Most likely to step in the White House, also John Bush. Most likely to join a frat, Nick P. Most likely to be wealthy, everybody besides Jake Poor. Most likely to be a plastic surgeon, Alex Lamoureux. Most likely to be a dance mom, Gabby Merg. Yeah. Class best, Kit. Yeah. This one's one of my favorites. Most likely not to go to our school. Adam Campersall, James Ziegel, Dakota Jordan, yeah. Hallie Savis, Tyler Aronson, Yago Lasardo. Calvin Santiago, <laughs> Eric D'Souza, George Turner, Lissy Palillo, last and least, Kendra Pantalone. And this one goes out to a special someone, most likely to steal Christmas, Aiden O'Sullivan. You know, I'm really glad we got to uh, recognize some people that may have been left out at homecoming. Um, but I think it's time for Bobby and I here to say our goodbyes as we introduce this, uh, this final act. Thank you all for letting us do our magic. You guys have been a fantastic audience, and I'm so blessed to have shared this experience with you all, especially with the best class of all time. So, the band is going to take the stage, and they're going to play not one, but two songs. You guys just wait for the signal. Everybody, have a good night. Hungry Smith, Moby Dick!
chai The cat sun, flower proud Walking jingle in the mid Night sun, a cop, her own body Drip of silver, kimono like a crave Full star gown, through a dream Night wind Like a one eyed Cheshire, like a dime, I'm an eye jack, a leaf of all colors, plays a golden string fiddle to a double. He water fall all over my bed. Trombone, while I rang a silent bell beneath the shower of pearls in the eagle, wing palace of the queen. Chinese. 